I'm going to be showing all of you guys all of my turtles in one video. And take a look at this guy. I mean, this guy is just absolutely gorgeous. This is one of the most endangered turtles in the world. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. I hope all of you guys are having an absolutely amazing Monday. My day has been going great so far and for today's video, I'm going to be showing all of you guys all of my turtles in one video and I really don't think that I've shown you guys all of my turtles in one video. So without further ado, we're going to hop right into that now. So right in here we actually have some of our raise up turtles. Now these turtles were actually all given to me by a very good buddy of mine. So in here I'm going to start with what we have most of which is the Indian spotted turtles. You can actually see them in here. There's one right there hanging out. There's two more here and this guy's come speeding along. He's coming going crazy. What's up buddy? Now these are one of my f absolute favorite species of turtles. Wait, wait, come here. I mean, just look how beautiful they are. Look at that yellow head. I mean, these guys are just absolutely beautiful. And I actually have adults of these turtles. So we're actually gonna take a little walk over there and I'm gonna show you guys um, a couple different stages of growth. I have these guys which were born this year. I have some over there that are about this big that were born about a year and a half ago. And then I have full size adults that are actually the parents of these little guys. So let's go take a look over there. So right in this pond here is where I actually am keeping the year and a half old Indian spotted turtles. Now I've just kind of spotted one right there. Take a look, let me try to grab them. Oh, oh, I got him, look at that right there. Wow, look at how crazy that is. Look at the difference between the two. So this guy was born this year and this guy's a year and a half old. Pretty big difference, huh? I mean, I absolutely love seeing how big they get in such little time. I mean, so crazy. You guys could be siblings, hi. Wow, so awesome. And right there, we actually have some of the adults. So this is actually one of the adult females right here. So I don't wanna spook her too much, hi pretty girl. So take a look right here. This is actually, could potentially be the mom. I actually just acquired these guys, but take a look. You have three generations of turtles right here. You have the young little baby, you have the year and a half old, and then you have, this actually might be the mom. So how crazy is that, guys? So in here, there's actually one other female besides this one and the male. Let me see if I can pull them up. They actually might be mating right now. Oh, 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 look at him. I got him right there. Take a look at this guy. I mean, this guy is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at his beautiful head. And this is the potential father to these guys. I mean, he is much more high white than those females. I think he is just beautiful, but they're all beautiful in their own sense. So let me actually show you this right now. So you know he's a male because he has this concave shell right here. This concave shell is going to allow him to mount onto the females. You can see it right here. So when he's mating them in the water, he's actually going to mount just like this. And he's going to be holding on to the very front part right there with his feet. Hi, bud. There you go. So it's pretty awesome that I'm actually able to breed these turtles here in my own backyard. This coming March, I should be expecting babies from these two females, or eggs, not babies. I'll be expecting eggs, and I should have between 70 eggs when it's all done. So now that I showed all of you guys these turtles, we're going to put this guy back over here, and we're going to go back over to the little pond in the front and show you the rest. Here you go, buddy. Go back in your little pond. Let's see him running. He's probably going to go crazy. Go, go, go. Boop. Oh, he's in. So what I want to show you guys next is these beautiful Indonesian snapping turtles. So these guys actually came from my very good buddy Mike, and these are one of the coolest turtles in the world. And they're very underrated. I like to call them little ninja stars, just because you can see their shells look like little ninja stars, and they kind of flare out. And I mean, you kind of hold them just like a ninja star. So these guys get quite large. I mean, the adults that I've seen at my buddy Mike's house are literally like this big. They get huge so keeping these guys if you are going to you know you're gonna need a very very large pond for them when they're older now these guys are just about five months old now when they're first born they're only like this big so they've grown quite a good amount in that time frame such a cute little guy and these guys are actually from New Guinea over in Indonesia and they actually live in the rivers there really really cool turtle and I have right here a little baby Cuban slider turtle so if they're a Cuban slider turtle they're obviously come from Cuba. Now, if you see, he's got these little white dots right there. Those little white dots is some sort of a fungus. He came like that to me, but I've been treating it with antifungal twice a day, and he'll be just fine. Over time, when he sheds his scoots, he'll actually shed all of that off. So if you see, he's got all these individual scoots. He's got one there, one there, one there, 
one there. Each one of those is an individual scoot, and when he grows, he'll actually shed off that old skin. So I'm gonna put this guy right here. We're gonna give him a little bit of food, and then we're gonna go check out the rest of them. Right here, I actually have some of Zoomed's aquatic turtle pellets. These are for hatchling turtles, so we're gonna sprinkle some in, see if these little guys are hungry. Come here, guys, right here. They should go crazy for it. Come here, there's some food for you. Oh, look at him, he's going right there. These guys are munching on the food, they're chowing down. Now one thing with turtles is turtles are pretty easy as long as you give them clean, warm water and you're feeding them. They're pretty much indestructible if you do that as well as give them proper heat and UVB lighting. If you give them the UVB light, clean water and food and heat, these guys will be good to go and you're gonna grow some healthy turtles. So unfortunately in the middle of recording, my phone actually died on my way inside, cut myself on the fence got cut again, but that's not gonna stop us today from getting this video done. I'm gonna be showing you guys all of my younger raise up turtles and we have a lot of them. We have a couple different species. I have pink belly side necks. You guys saw the Indian spotted turtles. I also have a Madagascar big headed turtle and a North American spotted. So let's see what we can find in here today. You're not gonna really be able to see anything from the surface. The water is a little bit cloudy. How we're gonna do this is we're just gonna reach around. Okay, I got my hand on something. It's for sure a pink belly side neck. Look how beautiful this is. So this is a gorgeous pink belly side neck. This is actually a regular one, and I actually have albinos in here as well. So this guy is het for albino. So what that means is his mother or father, I'm not sure which one, I got these from a friend of mine. One of the parents was albino, and then one of them was not albino. So this guy came out regular, and some of his siblings were albino. That's why he is possible het for albino. Ooh, we got something else right here. Oh, we have a Madagascar big turtle. Now guys, this turtle may not be crazy pretty with colors, but this is one of the most endangered turtles in the world. This guy right here is on the top 10 list of endangered turtles, and this was produced by another friend of mine who has a pair of them. I mean, this turtle is so cool, and when they're big, they actually have to live in a very large enclosure and have to have a lot of space to get away from each other because the males actually are very aggressive with the females and actually will start attacking other turtles. So for now, while he's young, he kind of is just hanging out. He's just chilling. He hasn't really tried biting anyone, but it's really just an honor to work with this turtle being that it's one of the most endangered turtles in the world. It is critically endangered. So I'm gonna put this little guy back in and we're gonna reach around for an albino. What do we got? Oh, we have another regular pink belly side neck. And what do we got? We got two females right here. Two females, and look how pretty they are. Oh, let's see your long neck. Let's see it. Beautiful, beautiful little guys. Now, we still have to reach around and find this albino. Oh, guys, take a look right here. We have the albino. So it's the same species of turtle, except this one is albino. And being albino, he has those red eyes. See if you can focus in on him. Take a look at them. So albino animals actually have very bad eyesight, but when you give them the proper conditions, they actually thrive and do very well. So these guys are actually clutch mates. So they're siblings. Now you can see the albino is a lot smaller. Generally speaking, the albino animals will stay smaller and grow a lot slower because it is a little bit more difficult for them to eat, but he is growing just fine. Look at him right here, and you can see he's shedding his scoots. So. What I was talking about earlier with some of the turtles is, look right here. If the scoot is ready, you can actually peel it up. See that right there? That's coming up, so he's shedding his old skin off and his new skin is coming in. Let's see if we can peel it. Look at that right there. See how that kind of just peels up right there? That one is ready to go. What an absolute beauty, and unfortunately with these guys, is they are produced in mass numbers for the pet trade. Not the albinos, but the regulars. Let's see if we can find a regular again. Let's see, oh, 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 we got another one. So unfortunately, the, these right here are pretty inexpensive. You can find them for as cheap as $10 each. And while that's good and it opens the market up for a lot of people to be able to afford it, a lot of inexperienced people will actually buy these turtles, keep them in the wrong enclosures, and sadly, a lot of them end up dying because of that, which is really, really sad. So I'm gonna put these guys back in right now and we're gonna try to find this North American spotted. Here you go, guys, take off. Oh, and they're swimming away. Let's see what we got here. We have another Indian spotted turtle. You guys saw that little guy earlier. Here you go, bud, get right there. Let's see what we can find in here. Oh, oh, got him. Take a look at this guy. So this is a native turtle to the United States. Now most of these turtles are found all over the world. 
This guy is native to the United States. You'll find this guy up in the New York area, in the rivers, and it's actually one of the most trafficked turtles in the world. People love to go and actually steal these out of the wild to then sell on the black market because of how beautiful they are. You can see he has these beautiful yellow spots. And you wanna show us your head, little guy? You wanna show us your head? So beautiful. So in the winter here in South Florida, I generally don't worry about the turtles too much because on the very bottom, the water actually stays pretty warm. And these guys, I especially don't have to worry about because they're found in New York. A lot of times these guys have actually been recorded swimming under the ice where just the top layer is frozen and they'll see these guys swimming underneath, which is so, so cool to see. Now, what else do we have in here? Honestly, I kind of forget what I have in here. I know I have the pink bellies. Yep, you know what? We covered all the turtles in there. Let's go over here to this little pond. I actually just got these turtles given to me by one of my friends. Now, as you guys can see, the water is very dirty. Now, I actually just changed this water earlier today, but turtles are one of the messiest animals out there, and they just completely poop and pee just every five minutes, and that's why it gets so dirty. And they actually prefer the dirty water. Let's see what we can find. Oh. Let's grab this guy. Ooh, we have a giant Asian pond turtle right here. Take a look at this guy. Look how cool he is. Look at that shell right there. Look at those jagged edges. Now this is more of a terrestrial species of turtle and they like to spend a lot of time outside of the water. Now I have this little basking area and I'll actually see him walking across the top here. Now this is just a temporary setup. I was literally just given these yesterday. So for now I just threw them in here and they're going to be just fine in here for a couple more days until I get a permanent tub for them. Let's see what else we can find in here. We got a bunch of turtles in here. Oh, Japanese pond turtle. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, another Japanese pond turtle. So this is another one of my favorite turtle species, which is Japanese pond turtles. You can see that they have some insane yellows, greens, and what's super cool is their bellies are jet black, which is so, so cool. And this guy actually looks like he has a little bit of fungus. Like I said, these were given to me. None of those turtles over there have fungus. I have been treating it since I put them in here earlier today. I actually take Sun Gems Rock Salt from Home Depot. It looks just like this right here. And I throw that in the water and it generally takes care of any sort of fungus. With turtles, if they have a fungus, one thing you can do is give them clean warm water, sunlight, and the rock salt, and they generally will be just fine. They're pretty indestructible animals. Oh my gosh, look at him. It looks like his head disappears in there. Oh my gosh. Look at his head, it doesn't even look like he has head. Oh, and then he just popped out. What's up, buddy? So I'm just gonna leave these guys right here. They're just gonna hang out there. And that, my friends, is going to end today's video. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching it. If you guys have not already, please go comment down below a name for these new turtles. Give me a squad name. I got a bunch of these guys. Comment down below a squad name for these turtles. And guys, I have not forgotten about the chameleon name. I'm going to be announcing that in the next video. I'm still sorting through the names. It's a lot of comments to go through. So I'll let you guys know about that in the next video. And if you guys ordered any shirts, they should be arriving. I just got mine yesterday. Take a look. Rhino Iguana t-shirt. Now they're not available anymore. I will be doing a another run shortly. And if you guys are not subscribed already and it is your first time on the channel, it is the first link down below.